Hi, I'm Steve, Father Stephen Das, and this is my wife, Mary. Um, we want to say the hello to everyone at the convention, and especially Bishop Brewer. We're happy that we are in Sao Paulo, Brazil, because uh, we are here representing the diocese, and we thank you for sending us out as your missionaries. Mary and I have been here since September, and uh, we started right away working in the streets uh, the day, almost the day after we got here. Um, we worked with a team, uh, our, our team members, uh, we are a team of six, and most of our team members have at least six to seven years experience. And we, we're, we're building some uh, relationship, but it's, it's a slow process, and it'll take maybe about two to three years before the kids actually come to the point where they, they'll they trust us and they open up. Uh, there's a lot of violence uh, among themselves and towards other people, and um, they're really being excluded more so than before. We work in two different areas. We work with street children, homeless children, and then we will also work uh, once a week in a place called Cracklandia or Crackland. Um, there's 700 people there using crack cocaine. Yeah, they all live in the streets. Uh, this is actually like the, the, the bottom of the pit. Um, people are in really bad ways. Some Most of them have saws and cuts and sometimes every week when we go there we see something which we never thought we would ever see in real life. Uh, and some of the kids yeah. that we're working with now are, are second generation street kids, which means their parents were involved in the drug trade or still involved in the drug trade. Even moments like their birthday that most people would just overlook, we brought a cake, we had a celebration, and I think from that moment, the kids started to look at us from a different perspective, and they even gave Mary uh, a little Christmas present. <laughs> it was a special moment for all of us. And we prayed that we, you know, God would give us more of these moments for us to really uh, be able to, to communicate to the kids that that they are, they are someone to God. They are someone special to God. And I think this is the only thing that's going to give them the strength to dream for their lives and to look for something better. Um, right now, we need uh, people to be trained for, for us. Uh, it's such a difficult work, and we really need to feel the prayer and the support of the church. Uh, one of the ways that people can do is uh, visit our blogs. I do post our, our, our weekly thoughts and on our blog. And, um, and your com people uh, giving their commentaries or even just visiting the blog will help you to pray with us uh, and understand our struggles. Until they realize there's someone important and someone special, um, they are not going to leave the streets because the streets is a safe place for them right now. It's a safe place to be forgotten.